You've never seen surveillance cameras this powerful. They can zoom in to a person as far away as four blocks. The pan, the tilt, the zoom. Closer than ever before. See what they're catching on camera. And I did not cheat is this powerful. They can zoom in to a person as far away as four blocks. The pan, the tilt, the zoom. Closer than ever before. See what they're catching on camera. Then, Kirstie Alley's fat act. To a tryst in an elevator. Hidden cameras are there to capture your every move. But now, you're being watched closer than ever before. Here in Chicago, the surveillance cameras are so high tech, not only do they have night vision, but they're also bulletproof and they can zoom in to an object or a person as far away as four blocks. This is actually three and a half blocks down. Chicago police officer Gregory Hoffman gave Inside Edition an exclusive tour of the city's state of the art command center. It's home to some of the most advanced surveillance cameras in the country that can actually rotate 360 degrees. Unlike typical surveillance cameras that give you grainy images, these new cameras have incredible clarity and the images can even be blown up. The pan, the tilt, the zoom, it enables me to actually zoom into the point where I can see, observe a hand-to-hand -hand transaction between the buyer and the seller. Sergeant Hoffman is describing the first camera-assisted bust of an alleged drug deal. Using their new high-tech system, Chicago police were able to observe the suspects dealing drugs. Our gang and tactical officers are going to move in, and they're going to affect the arrest on the dealer, the holder, and the buyer. The cameras are part of a new trend in fighting crime. They're armed with flashing blue lights to make them obvious to would-be criminals. And they even have gun detection. If there's gunfire caught on camera, sparks of light will appear on screen. So far, Chicago has installed more than 30 around the city, each costing about $32,000. And Chicago's not alone. Cities like New Orleans and St. Louis also have plans in the works to use high-tech cameras. But some folks are concerned that this new wave of high-tech crime fighting is an invasion of privacy. Law enforcement officials disagree. The value that we gain in terms of security far outweighs the perception by some that this is Big Brother. Chicago officials say the cameras have helped contribute to a 25% drop in homicides between 2003 and 2004.